Welcome everyone to episode 402 of The Daily Mother Swo, the most muscular podcast in the realm because when I flex, you flex, we all flex. Papa Swolio's bicep. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to The Daily Swole. Getting that peak game strong as fuck. Welcome to 402 and welcome to the Daily Swole Club. So if you are joining for the first time, you can enter to win a call with Papa Swolio, a little one-on-one session. If you use the hashtag Daily Swole Club, you got to like the broadcast. You got to share this right now and you have to drop an awesome comment. But no matter what you do, you got to drop some hearts. So float some hearts, flood the flood the screen, flood the screen with hearts, feed Papa Swolio, feed me that energy. And we can begin right away. So welcome, Megan, Eric. What's up, BD? What up, all my new bitches? What up, my old snitches? What up? Papa Solio says, what's up? What's going on, Mason? Getting married this weekend. Getting married. Well, might have to, might have, to have a little one-on-one and uh, give you some advice on how you can make sick gains in that relationship. <laughs> relationship gains. Where's my coffee? I have like old cups like lying around, so I'm not sure. I have to check sometimes and make sure that the coffee that I'm drinking is uh, is good stuff. Welcome. How's everyone doing on Monday? Feeling good? Feeling right, feeling tight. Training strategies for a Monday. So a couple announcements while we're here. Uh, Remember, this week is the week of awesomeness. It's a week of awesomeness. And remember, those of you that are in my premium group, we had a badass. We had a badass webinar last week about fixing your fitness this week. This week, webinar Wednesday in premium. The premium webinar series is at 8 p.m. and it's fixing your food. So we are going into a long drawn out series, but this week we are talking all about nutrition. Gonna break all that shit down in premium at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. So I'll post up in the group about that here um, and how you can sign up. You can sign up, it's in the link, it's in the description uh, in my premium group. But just so you know, if you're in premium already, Wednesday at 8 p.m., it's gonna be badass on uh, Wednesday, fixing your food, so it's a nutrition week. But today is training strategies for Monday. This is today, and I just sent out an email to some of you, some of you might have gotten that email, that said today is Monday. And is it really Monday? Is it really Monday? Is it really Monday or is it just another day? So we can, you know, split hairs, we can talk about language and we can, you know, analyze the words, but a lot of times people would say, well, that's just, you know, semantics. You're just saying, okay, I know it's a day, I get it, but we categorize as Monday. Um, Tuesday, you know, you say, for example, my, my video, fitness is not a lifestyle, it's life. And people say, well, if you're into fitness, that's a lifestyle. It's not technically life. You know, you're just saying the same thing a different way. Well, yeah, but when you think about language, language comes first. When it comes to understanding uh, the human species and how we communicate, don't forget that it's not just how we communicate with each other, it's how we communicate with ourselves. So the words that you use are extremely important. And you may have heard of things like uh, you know, saying positive affirmations, saying positive things in the morning, first thing in the morning, you say thank you, you write down what you're grateful for in the morning or in the evening, you keep a diary, a journal. So the same language that you use to communicate with other people or to other people is the same language that you communicate internally to yourself. So the words that you say to other people are the same words that you're thinking. Like you think in words, you think in language. So before you even have a thought, before you even have an emotion, you have language and language spurs those emotions and language spurs those thoughts. So in reality, those words that you use, whether you say Monday or Tuesday, they're actually extremely important. They're actually extremely important and they make a huge, huge difference when it comes to how you feel and when it comes to how you feel about the day and when it comes to how you feel about the, um, uh, you know, how you're processing, uh, you're putting it in context in terms of your, in, in terms of what you're thinking about for that day. So you have Monday, you know, it's no different than Tuesday, the sunrise, the sun sets. But when you associate it with this, you associate it with, you know, what are some of the words? And write down in the comments right now. I'll put struggle, okay? 
I'll put, str- you know, I'll put struggle, we can put that out there. What, write down in the comments right now, what are some words that you associate with Monday? First thing that comes to mind, we'll do like one of those like psycholo- psychology things. Like what's the first thing that comes to mind? When you think of the word Monday, what comes to mind? What comes to mind? Drop in the comments below, I know there's a couple seconds delay. What are some of the things running the mill? Work, all right, I'll keep it going, hold on, okay. All right, so let's do, drop them in, running the mill, work, I like, okay, so Monday, So we got work, running the mill, oh, manic. Just the first thing, it's, there's no right or wrong. Running the mill, like the treadmill or like the, the rat race, start of the week, the beginning, ugh, back day, exhaustion, all right, exhaustion. I like that, I'll put that in there, back day. I like this. Back day, crazy, blues, why me? (laughs) Why me? Why me? Blues, ugh. I think we get the point. Chest day, opportunity, groundhog day. All right, Bill Murray. Oh, no patience. Okay, so a couple people said some funny stuff. Chest day, you know, opportunity. That's good. Okay, so one person said opportunity. And it's not that, you know, let's say that person's the most optimistic person in the world, but a lot of people look to Monday as opportunity. So, you know, with what I do personally, you know, with all these broadcasts, there's, really, there's no day off. There's no day off. You know, Sunday, you know, I categorize, I put Sunday fun day or Sunday motivation, you know, Monday motivation, because technically it is Monday. You know, that's how we keep organized. That's how we keep everything, you know, in line. You know, if I want to meet you on a Tuesday, we keep this kind of like, you know, circadian order. That way, you know, I'm, I'm showing up at the, at the right time on the, on the, on the right place and, and so are you. So it's a way that human beings can communicate and we can keep order because if you eliminate everything, if you eliminate language, if you eliminate the days of the week, right? You eliminate jobs, you eliminate where you have to be. If you close your eyes and you look, like the only thing that changes is the weather. You know, the stars change in the sky. You know, the sun comes up, the sun goes down. Okay, then the sun goes up and the sun comes down. Okay. I mean, if you get a group of people together and say, okay, the sun just came up now until it goes back down, we'll call this day one Monday. And then when it comes up again, we'll call it Tuesday. And after seven of them, we're going to start over. And everyone's like, okay, we agree. And then someone tracks it. And then everyone knows that today is a certain day and we agree. So pretty much what we did was we all got together and agreed that this day is this time and this, you know, we have the constellations and they rotate and we know how the earth rotates around the sun and how it turns 24, blah, 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 on its axis and all that shit. But we could have started that on a different day. We could have, we could have called, here's the thing. My point is we could have called January. We could have called it August and we could have called August, January, right? Because it's very arbitrary what we call it. You know, I'm not saying there isn't a cycle. I'm not saying things don't go around every certain, you know, 365 days, our time. I'm not saying it doesn't, that doesn't happen. I'm just saying the names we give things, right? So March could have been April. You know, December could have been September. Just because we gave it a certain name. You know, we associated, you know, oh, there's a, you know, a dragon in the sky. So we call it December, which makes no sense. Um, you know, January. So we associate with certain shapes and animals that we gave language to. It all comes back to language, the words that we give. So if something looks like a cow in the sky, the word for cow, and then we call the month based on something that we have the, you know, the Latin word for cow and you get it, right? So here's what we associate with Monday. All right. Let's just take a look and see what's up. Work manic draining, running the mill exhaustion. So here's all these negative, right? We associate these aren't positive things. These aren't positive words. If you think of work, I mean, work could be positive. If you're working on something you enjoy, you're working on something you love. But, you know, work, I know, is, is, is we're here in the instance of things that you're, you have to do. And most people don't enjoy that. So it's like, okay, work. That can go 50-50, depends on what you mean by work. But we'll assume here that's a negative. Manic, draining, running the mill, exhaustion, back day. That's positive. That's positive. Why me, blues, and ugh. I, I think Monday, I think this is like, this like sums it up for everyone, right? Fucking ugh. So we have these negative connotations with, um, w- 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 with Monday. So how can we change that? Well, 
why do we have those feelings? Why do you have those feelings of, you know, why do you have those feelings of negativity? Like, why do you think? And drop that in the comments. Why do you think? Why do you think we have these feelings of negativity? Because you have like two days off. And then here you have that work or, you know, things you don't want to do. Things you don't like. You know, we organize so like, you know, the kids go to school, so you're driving them around, blah, 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 or they have baseball practice or fucking who knows. You know, you go to job, nine to five, this and that, the grind, right? The mill. Uh, John, because the corporate working world has conditioned us to hate Monday. It's true. It's true. Well, did the corporate world train you to hate Monday? That's a good question right there. Did the corporate world or did this nine to five Monday through Friday, did it train you to hate Monday? Was it really them? Or is it because people don't really inherently love what they, what they do? There you go, April. People don't like their jobs a lot of the time. Okay, so when we say the word work, you associate work with bad. But why is work bad? Because if you're doing something you don't like, it's effort towards you know, a non-goal. Like you don't care if you get that paperwork done because you don't give a shit if the project gets completed. I mean, if you're working at a job that you don't fucking care if that thing, like, you don't give a shit. You're not putting in a lot of effort. You just want to get done and the project gets done. It's kind of like a blah project because you didn't give a fuck and no one cares. It gets done because someone at the top is making money off it. You don't give a shit. You just want to get your money and go home. When you think about it, it's depressing. And I'm not saying this to depress you. I'm saying this to wake you the fuck up because you can change what you do. And a lot of people feel like they're stuck in this work cycle. You can start by thinking about things differently. You know, work is the best thing. You must challenge and do what you love. Work can be the best thing. Nobody likes their job, Brandy says. I mean, if it's a job, it's not something that you're passionate about. Usually a job is something that you have to do because you know, you, just, it, it, you have to do it. It's associated, job is associated with negativity. So getting off Monday, and this is going back, we're gonna talk about a high training strategy for Monday. So, but this is just, literally this is important. So, you know, you can do, I'm sorry. So work can make you happy. Or it can make you job which is associated with all like the, the negatives here. So if I'm staying up late and I'm editing videos, I'm working on doing broadcasts and this and stuff, like it's all work. Like a lot of stuff I do here, you know, I'll go live and I'll do all this shit, but I mean, this is, it's fun. I mean, this is work. This isn't like, you know, I have a great time doing it, but it's still, you know, it's still work. It's still effort. I'm still doing a lot of stuff. The only reason, you know, this show is on YouTube and SoundCloud and iTunes and I'm on IG stories and Snapchat and I'm writing emails and this like, and I'm answering comments, like it's, it's effort. It's called effort. So whether you want to like perceive it as work is up to you, but if you enjoy what you're doing, if you enjoy what you're doing, you know what they say? Like if you enjoy what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life. It's totally true. It's totally true. And yeah, and, and that's why, and that, yeah, Jennifer, yeah, and that's why people get depressed when they retire a lot of times. I mean, how many professional athletes retire and then come back? They can't handle it. They've played a sport their whole life, you know, or they go and they're an announcer, like they can't stop. They can't stop because they love what they do and they inherently love it and that's who they are, that's their identity, and they can't stop doing it. Like, you should never retire. You really shouldn't. All the books and all the science, all the studies, all the psychology, like you should never ever retire. There's no need to retire. What are you gonna do, like stop and just do nothing every day? That's miserable. People die that way. You need to always be doing something, hobbies and, and work. Whether or not you're like doing construction your whole fucking life, but you need to keep active and keep focused and follow your passion. So there are things that you have to do in life and things that you, that, that, that you, you, know, that you wanna do and there are things that you have to do. But you need to closely associate the things that you wanna do with the things that you have to do as closely as you can because if you're getting up every day and you have to work your fucking ass off, why not work your fucking ass off or something you enjoy doing? Because it's not work, you're enjoying it. You're having fun. You love to do, um, you know, uh, take care of animals, or you love to, 
fuck, you may love being an architect or maybe you love being an accountant. I mean, people can love that. You just enjoy the numbers. You enjoy it. You have your own bit. You can enjoy that. And not everyone needs to be a business owner, but I'm just saying you need to enjoy what you're doing. You know? And when your mind quits, so does the rest of you. The mind is strong. So let's talk about this. Now let's relate this back to what I originally, so you gotta, you gotta be happy. You gotta find what you wanna do because you gotta put the work in there. So with this strategy, with this mentality, let, let me tie this all in because this is about training strategies for Monday. So because of this, because of this strategy, because of this general negative connotation, we gotta erase this. So your Monday, you gotta make this a positive. So I want you to do something. If you're doing a physical activity, and I want you to do a physical activity that you love. I want you to do a workout that you love. I want you to do a body part that you love. I want you to go for a run. If you love running, if you run once a week, run on a Monday. I want you to, um, if you love going swimming, or if you love doing yoga, do that on a Monday. I want you to do the exercise, a physical activity of your choice on a Monday. Start doing things on a Monday that you look forward to. Start looking, doing things that, um, I agree, not all people can have the job that they, that they want. I don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily believe that. I mean, the job that they want, why can't everyone be happy? I just think most people or most everyone don't believe that they can be happy or they're not motivated or they don't want to be happy bad enough. Like they don't understand that it's their life and they can make choices. You know, a lot of people can make choices. There's some people in some situations that you just have to fucking grind it out. I get that. Not everyone has it as easy, but everyone has the same opportunity. You know, we all have the same life. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people start in, you know, more... Uh, beneficial situations, scared. There's, there are many different factors. I'm not gonna say that some people don't have an easier chance to to be successful. But at the same time, some people that come from the greatest hardships are the most successful because they're the hungriest and they want it the they want it the the most. So just because you're born with, if you're born into a family with a lot of money, that doesn't mean you're gonna be successful. It doesn't mean you're gonna be happy. How many people commit suicide that are have tons of money and tons of fame, and then they kill themselves? You're like. How the fuck could they kill themselves? They had everything. They were famous. They had money. That, but they're not happy. It just shows that money doesn't buy happiness. Fame doesn't buy happiness. You have to be happy with who you are. It doesn't mean anything. So I want you to do the physical activity that you love. So on a Monday, make it something you look forward to. Make it something that you want to do. Make it a positive. You know, start associating Monday with good things. If Monday is like the day when like you and your family, you have like, you know, why is taco, why is it taco Tuesday? Fucking do taco Monday. If you love tacos and that's like your family thing, fucking do it on a Monday. Like start looking forward to Mondays. I know it sounds weird, right? It sounds so weird. And, and, and here's the thing. Think about this. Think about how society fucks with you, right? When, when do they have ladies night for going out? It's like Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, right? When is it, um, you know, it's Taco Tuesday or it's happy hours on Friday from this. You know, what's on Monday? Like what good things do they put out on Monday? I know a lot of people like football, so Monday night football, but what do they do on Monday? You know, what, what, what does society do for us and do for you? That's on a Monday concerts and like fun stuff you'll have a concert on a wednesday fucking night or on a thursday night you have a you have a concert on a thursday night people work on friday like what does a thursday night concert have to do with why can't you have it on a monday why can't there be things that you know make mondays exciting you know open a fucking bar and call it a case of the mondays and have like awesome specials and like live music and just turn mondays fucking up that's the gray space, that's the white space, that's the fucking open space in like the market. Mondays, people fucking hate Mondays, meal prep Monday. You know, start your Monday off right, start your Monday off positively because if you start your Monday off right, you know it's gonna steamroll to the rest of the week. Don't think of Monday as the beginning of the week. Change your calendars and start the week with a Friday. Friday's the beginning of the week, Friday's day one. 
Start your workout Friday, day one. Saturday's day two. Sunday's day three. Fuck it. Sounds weird. Rearrange your calendar so Friday comes first. <gasps> Kids go back to school. Food industry cash in on Mondays, that's for sure. Um, how does the food industry cash in on Mondays? I'm curious as to what you mean by that. I'm just saying that your training strategy, whether or not you like cardio, whether or not you like chest day, whether you not like legs, I want you to choose a physical activity that you love on a Monday. That you love on a Monday. So absolutely, absolutely start loading your week up early. Don't wait till Wednesday. Don't wait till Thursday. And start looking towards Monday with excitement because it's just another day to live. It's another day to see results. It's another day to work hard and to fucking make progress. And it happens every day. Every day is the same. Every day is another opportunity, whether you call it Monday, whether you're working in the morning, whether you love what you do or not, you're alive, and it's just another day. The sun comes up, we call it Monday. The sun comes up, we call it Tuesday. The sun comes up, we call it Wednesday. It's just another fucking day. So, that being said, I'm very excited this week. Remember, webinar Wednesday, premium webinar series continues with Fix Your Food Wednesday night at 8 p.m. So if you're not in premium, you can get access to the webinar and your seven day trial. You can click the link in the description of the post. Um, so no excuses, no excuses for this week not to be there Wednesday at 8 p.m. live in premium Fix Your Food webinar. It's gonna be absolutely badass, so get your questions ready. We'll have a great Q&A um, during and at the end. And just like last week when we destroyed fixing your fitness, we're gonna break down fixing your food this week. So I'm totally looking forward to it. Daily Swole Club, remember, I'll see you for a couple minutes after, remember, uh, the, the after swole party. So follow me right now. Once we sign off here, open up Instagram and stay tuned in like a minute or two. I'm gonna pop on Instagram live and do an after swole party and answer a couple questions. And at 1 p.m. Eastern time, got the accountability meeting, the weekly accountability meeting in premium. So give you the state of the swole, give you some insider scoops and answer any questions and get some feedback, but let's all check in. So if you're in premium meeting today at 1 p.m. and also don't forget the webinar series on Wednesday, 8 p.m. So I'll post up about that. If you're not in premium, click the link. If you're interested and you have questions, make sure you message me. Everyone, love you. Peace, McGee's, Deuce, Magoose. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 402 of The Daily Mother A Swoho, the most muscular podcast in the realm because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. I will see everyone tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time, like I do every day, right here on Facebook. See you on YouTube and also for the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. It's fucking Monday. Comment below, what are you training today? What are you doing? What physical activity are you doing that you love? If you're not watching this live, I still want you to comment below. What physical activity do you love and what physical activity are you doing today to make yourself excited for Monday? And what are you gonna do moving forward that's going to amp you up for Mondays? How are you gonna change your schedule in order to make Mondays more of a priority and more of a positive influence in your life. Peace, McGee's, Deuce, Magoose. I'll see you all on Instagram stories or Instagram live in just a couple minutes. Peace.